Hello friends! In this episode, you will experience all the marvelous sounds of my workshop. Stay tuned. I'm Christopher, the Midwest Man Mountain, and I believe that woodworking and gardening are two of the best ways to be sustainable, creative, and achieve a sense of purpose. Thank you for watching. If you have a black dog, make sure all your sawdust is light colored, so when he's digging in it, it can get everywhere. As you know, I believe that woodworking and gardening are two of the best ways to be creative, something else, and achieve a sense of purpose. So what I like to do is combine them. So when I'm starting a woodworking project, where do I go? Why not my garden? I can use the wood from this jade plant to create just about anything if I just use my mind and my creativity. And if I do so, I'll even achieve my own sense of purpose. The Midwest Man Mountains, who I am. Subscribe right now or I'll send you spam. <laughs> As you know, I like to keep my workshop really tidy. Everything has its spot. If I have a wheat thin box, I leave it on the ground for three months. And like here, I have all of my most important tools. Like you never really know when you're going to need some rusty garden shears. Perfect for the wood shop. You know what's also great? A plastic hanger. I'm not even making this up, you guys. I just keep this stuff in here. Oh, you know what? I love to keep my American flag just rolled up. I don't know if you can see it in here, but it's got a special little spot. What else do we have here? Oh, this also, part of a hanger. You never know when you can use it again. And then this is the best. This is my, um, uh, this is my Star Trek uh, guard for my saw. So I use this pretty regularly. You can tell because it's so shiny and clean. So you never, um, you never can estimate, underestimate. Oh, here we go. Here, this goes maybe with this. So um, I just like to tinker around with all my stuff. And um, I wish I could show you more, but um, you'll be seeing a lot of these things, especially these in some upcoming projects. Stay tuned. Many people assume, since I'm such an experienced woodworker, that I've made everything. Well, you know, I've never even made an Adirondack chair, but my wife has, and she made it when she was in eighth grade. Man, I wish she would teach me some things about woodworking, like how to use this. Look, I can change the angle somehow with this. Um, I think if I, if, yep, that works really well. Here, um, if you wanna use it, you gotta make sure this is at the angle you want, and then you just um, bring this down, and you put, usually you put wood in there. I mean, you could put other things, but normally a piece of wood is a great idea. I'm not gonna actually do that today, even though, oh, what is this? Oh, some, I'm not gonna actually use it. But you would place it here. See, there's this really great laser that um, shows you where the line's gonna happen. Then you would grip this, and it makes a really cool noise. Listen. <laughs> this is the best noise for when, like, you need to grade papers or maybe your, your spouse needs to grade, you just, you just use this noise, it's just really calming and relaxing. So, this is my favorite part of any workshop tour, is our interactive virtual noise making band. So, all you have to do is join me, I'm gonna set a beat at home, I want you to listen to this, play it for your friends, play it for your relatives, play it for whoever will listen. Here you go. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeehaw, here we go. More singing, more participation. Yeah, I can hear you. Sounds great. Really, really, really good. I made this handy dandy Lazy Susan. Uh, it's great uh, if you, or your name is Susan, or it's great if you have the ability to turn really heavy objects. Some, peop some people are better at this than others, but I work really hard. Got my uh, reps in for the day. I've already spun this at least three, four, or 5,000 times. And I just look at it and I think, okay, do I wanna use this belt sander? 
do, I want to use my spindle drill press. Drill press. Yep, definitely want to do that. Um, definitely just gave myself a splinter. And this thing, this is my favorite. This, you can put like a business card here and then it magnifies it. So if you're, if you're someone who has some reading issues, and uh, that over there is the spindle saw, something like that. But um, I can't really move anything right now because I got myself such a, a gosh darn bad splinter. You want to see it? This table saw, I would say, is one of my closest friends. We've known each other for a few years now, and I just can't tell you the amount of times that we have bonded over this slidey little bit that goes back and forth. And um, this knob here is my favorite part of my best friend here. I believe it raises the blade or something. Oh, look, if I spin it, maybe something will happen. I mean, sometimes he just wants to, to hibernate. And uh, if I go faster, oh, look at that. Here comes the blade. Here comes the blade. Here comes the blade up through the table saw. But I'm going to put that down because it's a safety hazard. You don't want any, you know, creature or critter to uh, hurt themselves on the table saw. So I'm going to do that. I think that's pretty close. But last but not least, another great sound. If you are looking to distract someone or interrupt a phone conversation, turn this baby on. It's super fun. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What? Yeah! If you're just tuning in for the first time, yes, I am this zany. Those of you who are familiar with me, you already know that. I am charming. I have the prettiest eyes. Some people think I'm a lady until they hear me speak, which is ironic if you're watching this video. And uh, I've got dimples that are just the size of the Grand Canyon. But even though I'm so pretty to watch, what's even more awesome is my animation. So make sure you watch my face because you never know what it's going to do. I'm looking forward to doing some collaborations really soon. Um, so if you have some ideas about how you'd like to co collaborate, just feel free to shoot me a message or leave a, a comment in the comment section below. And uh, thanks again for watching and subscribing and liking and, and Facebooking and tweeting and Instagramming and everything, Patreoning. Patreoning is really awesome. So if you, I would like to see more content just like this. Make sure you go to this link. And if you would like to subscribe, check it out over here. Really, really awesome. Um, you get to see really cool videos like this all the time. So check that out. Uh, thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. I'm the Midwest Man Mountain. Ha make it a spectacular day. Spadoinkle day. Until next time. Bye.